Netanyahu fired Defense Minister Yoav Gallant last night after a brief meeting in the Prime Minister's office. The move came a day after Gallant issued a dire security warning and called to pause the judicial overall legislation. At Steve Leibovich reports. Responding to his ouster, Gallant tweeted, the security of the state of Israel has always been and will always remain my life's mission. The Prime Minister and Gallant reportedly have not spoken since Thursday. A statement attributed to sources close to the Prime Minister said Netanyahu decided to fire Gallant over his feeble and weak response against the refuseniks in the IDF. In a tweet later Sunday, Netanyahu said, We must all stand up strongly against army refusals. Increasingly, reservists have warned that they will not be able to serve in an undemocratic Israel, which they charge the country will become under the government's plan. The Prime Minister's office denied reports that Netanyahu had rejected a request by Gallant to convene the Security Cabinet for discussions on the security implications of the judicial overhaul, saying that no such request was ever made. Gallant's likely replacement is seen as former Shabak head and current Agriculture Minister Avi Dichter. Opposition leader Yair Lapid said the firing of Gallant proved Netanyahu is a danger to Israel. In a joint statement with Benny Gantz, Lapid said, State security cannot be a card in the political game. Netanyahu crossed a red line tonight. We call on the ministers of the Likud party, members of the Knesset of Likud, to not lend a hand in the crushing of our national security. On Saturday night, Gallant joined those urging that the judicial overhaul process be halted, a first major sign of dissent from within Likud and the ruling coalition. Gallant's stance drew public support from Likud MKs Yuli Edelstein and David Bitan, raising hopes within the opposition that an internal Likud rebellion could keep the coalition from being able to pass the overhaul legislation.